Tell me when. I was ready, but then I decided to zoom in a little bit. All right. all right, guys, check this out. We're gonna talk all about what this is with Brian Fenske from Navian for Hub on the Road. Brian, you guys, I just gotta start off by saying I've been an MPEA fan for a long time. That's your premier tankless product. You've made some improvements on an already you know, really crowd pleasing model. Can you go over them? Let's start first with just some main features. What's what's really excited about this new, the changes to the MPE? Well, what can I say? We took a great product and made it perfect. And we just took it and said, what does the contractor like? What does he want to see? And we listened, you know, starting from the top to the bottom. We went with 70 feet of capable on two inch PVC venting. Longest in the industry for a condensing tankless water heater. Definitely, From there, yeah. we've got our proven stainless steel double heat exchanger. We've got our integrated advanced combustion system, which again, continues to work on low gas pressures up to 24 feet with half inch pipe. There, from about here down, it's totally different. Yeah, so that's the new pump module or waterway module or what I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm holding everything in my hand. I could take this out of the unit in a matter of minutes. I can service anything on here, anything that I'd want to do. But really what's important is, is we tightened up all the waterways, we lowered our pressure drop, but if you're familiar with the Navi Circ, which yep. is our retrofit manifold for uh, recirculation, instead of any special piping outside, it's just a matter of a couple changeovers right here in this pump module and it'll recirc right out to that fixture for you. Yeah, you're not going to be taking this apart and doing anything. You're just going to be turning a couple valves, a couple screws like that. That is right. That and is right. But it's also going to be taken care of in this new line by line control module. This one's awesome. Yeah. This one's going to read the temperature. It's going to read the flow rate at all times. But most importantly, all the programming is done right here. There are no dip switches to oh. set on our tank. Do you hear that? Unit. No dip switches. Thank you, Navian. We just scroll through here, we set this up, we decide how we want it to operate, program it, it's ready to go. A screen that can be easily viewed at any time to watch what our flow rates, if it's activated, if the burner's on, and what the temperature settings are. That's really cool. So you've also got the capability of like doing like the old hot button system where you can have external research but controlled right here on the board. We're gonna go ahead and include that option right in the A model, our advanced with the circulator. So all you gotta do is hook up your remote switch, your uh, sensors, anything that you wanna do to activate the circulation, and it is that easy. So one thing we were talking about earlier, we weren't talking about it yet on camera, but you put a new vent collar on that has a safety switch, so in case I, uh, well, let's be honest, I'm not gonna do this, but I see it when I service these units. Vents that aren't all the way inserted into the vent collar and you That's get right. leakage. You've got obviously a CO hazard there, but you're gonna get water outside from condensation. This is gonna not allow that to happen? How does that work? Navian's all about safety. So if we could make something better, that's what we did. So we have a micro switch built right in. So if they have not seated the pipe all the way to the bottom, which surpasses the seals and tightens up the pipe on the clamps, the unit will not fire. It will tell you that right on our front screen. You're kidding me. Not at all. That's the only one in the market that, at least that I've heard of. So this, this uh, piping module, I guess, you know, this is pretty cool because I can actually, if, if there were a problem with this, so maybe a seal failed or something in the, in the future, I could just pull this all the way out of the unit just like that. If I was you, I'd keep a spare, right? Get ah. in, get out. <laughs> You're good, man. You're good. Thanks a lot, Brian. Thank you. Very much. All right, guys, I'm still at the Navian booth, but now we're looking at the newly designed NCB. Uh, that's a Navian combi boiler. NCB has been out for a very long time. You guys have really hit the nail on the head for a price point for a combi boiler uh lead you know industry leading stainless steel heat exchanger things like that it it had great hot water production but now you've increased that you've gotten different turn down ratios you change the control new pump module everything you know like let's go over everything philip so we're really really excited about these enhancements to the product you new know, the industry has been moving quickly we want to make sure to stay at the forefront so first and foremost uh, we're migrating the domestic hot water module that we've had in the NFC product into the bread and butter NCB series. So you've got a uh, mixing valve, yeah. flow control, a larger flat plate. Uh, so basically this is gonna give you tankless style 
domestic performance throughout the year. So in the summertime, when the groundwater temperature is not as bad, you're going to get up into you know, 9, 10, 11 GPM capability. And now you're going to have probably in the, in the five, mid to high five range um, at 70, 77. 77 degree rise. So big jump for us in performance on the unit so it can fully support the, uh, the fixture count. Okay, that's awesome. But as a service contractor and installer, I know things that you know are going to be serviced in the future sure you took that three-way valve and you totally redesigned it you put it right in front now this is like a cartridge style true i mean one thing we've heard a lot of is easier serviceability you know we've probably even talked about that between you and i before so now right up front on the left all yet it's right there to access behind the board okay and then cartridge style that thing will just pull right out and if you need to replace it, the new one goes right in, locks with the clip. So I'm not gonna, done. I'm not gonna have to take nope. things all apart. Where whereas the older model, I mean, hey, let's just face it, it wasn't easy to service. So I see this and I look at it and I think already it's a big improvement. And that's what we're here to do is listen to the feedback and make improvements as we can to the product going forward. Okay, so I noticed one thing. I had to ask about it earlier when we were talking about the unit, but this is a mixing valve. So now. That's gonna alleviate the need for any external mixing valve on the unit. So this is a water control. Correct, right? just like a tankless unit. So you don't need an external uh, mixing valve. You're gonna get very precise outlet temperatures on the unit. You're not gonna have fluctuation issues. But again, you're gonna have you know MPES style performance right out of the combi boiler, which we're excited about. And you already covered it, larger flat plate heat exchanger. So I'm just gonna put this aside I noticed, first thing when I noticed when I walked up to the unit on display here is you've got the current model, the old coated display. Now you've got the control brought over from the NFC line. So yes. this is a line by line control. It's only got three buttons, four really if you count the dial, but it's gonna give you full readout of everything you're gonna see on the boiler. Correct, I like to call it the iPod Classic. If you know how to work one of those, you can work this thing. <laughs> the iPod no, Classic, but it's, sure. it's, um, so, I think I turned it off, sorry. So basically, yeah, you're showing your, uh, space heating uh, temperature, your domestic temperature, your PSI in the system. You can look at flow. You have your zones here. One wait, thing, wait, zones? Yes. So On now, the NCB. So we've migrated the zone control down, not only uh, pumps, but your choice of pumps or valves. Because you've got a built-in built transformer in. For, for zone valves? Correct. So up to three, three valves or three pumps three zones we'll just call it that three Correct. zones and okay. we even put room on here for your uh, external domestic recirculation so that's new if you want to do domestic recirculation you can do an external pump and control it through the control of the unit just so, like a tankless so anybody familiar with the nfc the the fire tube combi um you've got the the capability of multiple zones right off the board so really ultimately to me this looks like you brought it over from them nfc you applied it properly for the NCB and said, there you go. Everybody like that control, here you have it, Correct. right? Innovated on the NFC and now migrated down to the to the bread and butter unit. And then one thing I do want to mention most importantly is TDR. So, you know, short cycling, all those things can happen. We now will have industry leading turndown ratio of up to 15 to one with a minimum fire of 13,500. We're super excited. That's great for a combi. Getting the minimum down yeah. to that level. That's really good for a combi. So that's impressive. So this all, this whole module too, it's removable like this. So it's serviceable if anything were ever to happen. Uh, I would say water quality issues, probably depending on the installation, this is gonna be what's gonna be serviced, a flat plate and way down the road, right? Correct. In every, again, everything about easier serviceability, quicker serviceability, and making life easier for the contractor ultimately. Look at that. I know I'm strong guys, but seriously, it's not that bad. They told me it was super heavy. I'm like, come on, that ain't that bad. I like that. That's a really cool module right here. Uh, pump fits right on there so you can, you can't see the pump here in the in the video because the, the board is in the way, but you get the idea. Very cool, new design, fully designed, uh, redesigned with the three-way mixing valve that's a different valve altogether, but easier to get yeah, actually to. Actually a little bit larger now too. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Philip. I really Absolutely. appreciate it. We're excited. Thank you.